Tuesday, it's cold, it's windy, it's pretty horrible outside, so let's play some Mod of Tanks instead. In the T-3485, playing on highway. Ooh, we're on the north side, and... In the T-3485, I mentioned that. Of course I mentioned that. What have we got? Um, tier 7s. Mm. Tiger 1. Eee. Magical Unicorn. Mm. Is KV I don't think I've seen many KV-13s. Mm. And Black Prince, which is the upgraded church. one off the Churchill? Yes, yeah, one off the Churchill. I haven't played in the Churchill for a while, I should go back and look at that. Anyway, yeah, T3485. It's been a weird sort of, I was going to say weekend, long weekend ish. Um, it's interesting actually, I'd say I don't, I don't replay really Dota 2 anymore. I kind of got bored of how dull and unappreciated the support game is in that particular MOBA side so jump chip to smite where spawns are you no know, you actually get to do something that's really nice. Anyway But I still watch Dota 2 a lot. It's still one of those like my go to watching game even though I don't play it. Anyway. anyway. So as you're probably aware there's been huge amounts of um, drama the Dota 2 esports scene regarding uh, James Tuckett Harding uh, getting kicked from the Shanghai Majors, which is sort of Valve's big Chinese tournament, I guess you'd say. And it kind of started off with him getting fired and then sort of escalated a little. I mean, when Gabe Newell goes onto Reddit to call you an ass, you know, you Things have got pretty serious. I think it's interesting, um, not how it's kind of unfolded, but I feel like there needs to be a bit of a discussion amongst the general kind of esports community about what, like, how professional do you want esports to be? But that sounds like a stupid question, and in some regards it kind of is. Oh, crumbs. I'm just hoping that he's going to walk into one of my shells now, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. But I feel like there's got to be a discussion on what esports is going to, is going to basically be, like what shape is it going to take? Because I don't think that necessarily we should be abandoning sort of the amateur roots of paralysis there. I don't feel that necessarily we should be so keen to kind of abandon our amateur roots for the sake of trying to appeal to uh, a large market that might not necessarily be there. I don't know what the sort of statistics are, but I do want like how many people... So people kind of go, well, you know, like esports aren't a real sport, and to some extent I agree that they're not, you know, they're not a real sport. We shouldn't necessarily be trying to make them like one. But one of the things to me that would make esports seem more like a real sport is if you had people who were um, who were playing it, or rather watching it, that weren't necessarily interested in playing it. Like you get sort of foot people who people watch football, but they don't play it really, do they? I mean, I guess I'm, I know you're going to go with well, Mark. I, I play football all the time. And I love football. Some people do, but to me, that's one of those sort of things about sports that makes them sports. This is a bad idea. Ha ha ha! 
Oh, I stared down the barrel of the magical unicorn, and it sort of worked out. And by sort of worked out, I mean that was the stupidest thing. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so you kind of. have to wonder to what yeah what extent are we gonna sort of sacrifice our amateur roots I mean it's not necessarily the professionalism exists solely to try and get people to, to take it seriously but Critical hit. Oh, look at that beautiful motherfucker Enemy armor is hit. Right, tracks him. Penetration. Yay! Hey, I think we've got this. Yay! We won something. <laughs> 